morning, buddy. How's it going, pal? Hey, how's it going? Hey, Toby. Oh, yeah, I missed you too. How are you doing? Well, I'm back in Vermont, guys. Let's see how the farm's doing. Woo, come on, buddy. So today is my first full day back on the farm after being away for a week. As you guys have seen in the last couple of videos, Allison and I went to Spain for a little bit of a vacation. It was actually the first vacation that we've taken together in like nearly five years. Over the last couple of years, our vacations together have usually looked like me taking a week off from work to work around the farm. And so to go somewhere like Spain and get away from it all and just be together and explore and learn and see some new things was pretty awesome. But I am really glad to be back here on the farm. I miss this place, I miss all the animals, and can't wait to just show you guys around and see what's changed and what's happened. So yeah, Toby Dog continues to grow bigger and bigger. I think he's uh, darn near 60 pounds now, which is quite impressive, right? Of course, that's using my eyeball scale versus a digital BMI tracking Bluetooth scale that weighs dogs, which I'm not even sure is a thing. As far as the quacking goes, they're looking pretty good. Everybody's healthy, even my frostbite duck is doing really well, so no issues on the duck front. At this point, they've all stopped laying eggs, which is just, I think, the flock sort of starting to synchronize. I'm not that worried about the egg production right now, though, because the temps are so cold that most of those eggs would freeze anyway, and I would just have to feed them to Toby and the barn cats. So I'm gonna be patient, and I can't wait for them to start laying again so I can start hatching, because I'm very, very, very excited about hatching. <laughs> And as far as the giant flock of wild turkeys that we had at the farm goes, I'm no longer seeing them this morning out on the pasture. I was bummed. I was really hoping they would stick around. I can see a whole lot of tracks and activity and wildlife going on back here. Um, you know, see there's like a big patch right about there. There's a lot of tracks going back and forth up here. But before I left for Spain, I did set up a couple of trail cameras to track the movement of the turkeys as well as any other wildlife that we might have going on. Like for example, got one right here. And then I got another one covertly hidden on that tripod out in the middle of the pasture. So uh, let's see what these trail cameras have picked up. see out there Toby huh anything huh Toby come hey buddy <laughs> you love running in this pasture playing with me in the snow that's for dang sure for those of you guys wondering about the status of the barn cats they're good 
They're surly as ever. Actually, Pablo's friendly. Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah, you look set petting. Yeah. When it comes down to it, actually, the surly barn cat is Lil. My little princess. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Hey, how's it going, girl? Say hi to everybody, Lil, huh? I love these barn cats. Toby barn cat relations are okay. Uh, Toby gives the barn cats their space. Pablo is like sort of neutral to Toby at this point. Lil is still absolutely terrified of Toby. I don't know why, sweetheart. Why are you so afraid of Toby, huh? No eggs this morning. Yeah, I forgot to mention, the, the geese have started to lay eggs, which is pretty cool. They're gigantic, like they're huge, massive, compared to like chicken eggs. Uh, they are much more infrequent, and I think currently only one of the geese is actually laying. But yeah, the geese are doing pretty darn good. You might notice that this one white goose right here has like a bald patch in the back of her head. Uh, there's actually a good reason for that. I'll explain what that is in a future video, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what the reason is. How's it going, Lucky? Huh? So I will say that as far as the chickens go, I am having a few problems. Uh, actually one big problem. So Lucky, who was the lone rooster that we ended up preserving, this big brown guy right here, he has been just an awful, awful pain in the neck lately. Um, he has been attacking Allison and me, and he's really been doing a number on the hens. In fact, I don't know if you can see this. Hey. Oh, easy there, bro. Hey, easy there, man. Easy. So we've had this one hen, Henrietta, who's this girl right here who's been getting cut up by him. You can actually see she's got blue coat on her because she was bleeding so bad. Yeah, so Lucky the rooster, as you've seen here, is just being wicked aggressive. Probably more aggressive than I can stand right now. We're talking about unchecked aggression here. I was thinking about putting him down right before I left, but I didn't have enough time before I had to go catch a flight. But unfortunately, I think this guy's gonna have to end up in a pot both for our sake as well as the sake of the hens. But for right now, I think I'm gonna keep him in this holding pen just to keep him from getting in trouble. It's unfortunately the downside to farming. Like, like if you can look at Henrietta here, right? You can see, right? He's just picking away at her. And she's just not healing. Yeah, it's just, it's getting worse. So I'm actually gonna give her a little bit more blue coat to get treated. I'm sorry, girl. And I'm sorry, Lucky. I don't wanna have to do this, man, but just how you're acting. You know, one of the questions that I got from a lot of you guys when I took my break from YouTube was, you know, how's the book going and what's it all about? I was hoping to have the entire first draft done by the end of this little break. I'm like close, but I'm not exactly there. I'm like, I would say it's about 90, 95% written at this point. But again, that's only the first draft. It's gonna end up being kind of a long book, a couple hundred pages. And it's all about uh, life on the farm written from Toby's perspective. I'm gonna get this first draft finished probably this weekend, I'm hoping, hoping. 
um, if I can keep all other distractions blocked away. And once I have that done, I'm gonna begin the editing and rewriting process, which will take me probably another month or two, but I just needed that quiet period away from YouTube to just be able to focus on this creative project. Down, down. Toby, sit. Yes, good boy. He's still a puppy and I'm still working with him. So I just needed that focus time to be able to just work on this project and crank it out. And I'm feeling really good about where it's at. Once I get done with the editing process, I'm gonna actually have somebody illustrating it. It should be pretty cool. It's not gonna be like a kid's picture book, but there will be illustrations and maps and other cool stuff inside the book. And my plan is I will probably start to roll it out this summer with a Kickstarter uh, to help me fund the publishing part of it. I wanna self-publish this book. That's actually really important to me. So be on the lookout for that. Be sure to subscribe and you'll see plenty of information about the book as it starts to become available and ready for purchase. I know I sort of struck out earlier in this video when I was trying to do a size comparison for how much Toby's grown, but I came up with a better idea. Toby, come here. Look how big Toby is now. So look how big he is now compared to how he was in December. <laughs> That's some serious growth, right? So over the last couple of weeks, a few viewers have sent me some pretty awesome signs. And first off, one viewer made this absolutely beautiful wood carved sign of our logo. Check this thing out, man. Seriously, that to me is just absolutely awesome. To so the person who did this, and I'm gonna leave your name out because you didn't say if you wanted your name mentioned on the video. Um, it just blows me away that you did this. It's incredibly talented. It took you a lot of time and it was so thoughtful and I totally appreciate it. So that's why I put it right here on the door. But that's not the only sign I got. I actually got this one as well, which was a sort of carved sign called, declaring this the ye old quack house. As if you guys have seen in previous videos, um, I've named this place the Quack House, and uh, they're actually highlighting the fact that it was built in the memory of Puddle Duck, specifically Delilah Puddle Duck, who went missing on the day that we actually moved all the ducks into the new house. Uh, somewhat of a poignant side note on that one, by the way, Delilah Puddle Duck is actually featured very prominently in this book that I'm writing about Toby. But also, I didn't know if you wanted me to mention your name in, in this, but it just, it, blows me my mind just the fine wood that you use for that sign and the fact that you took the time to make it I really appreciate it so hanging it right here right by the window and so thank you guys I really appreciate whenever you send fan mail or packages and stuff to, to all the viewers out there it, it just means a lot to Allison and me so so it's appreciated if you guys are out there and wanting to see uh, just how I built this duck house I'm gonna leave a playlist right here you can check that out and see the process I went through from sort of first conceiving it to ultimately building it out. It's an, it's an interesting story that stretches across a couple of videos. So I will see you guys in that next video. Thanks.